think it's really cool is it's bread. I mean, it totally hangs out like bread. You can totally make a sandwich out of this and eat it and not be missing the fact that it doesn't have flour in it, which is just so cool. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get one teaspoon of dry active yeast in a bowl with some warm water. It needs to be warm, and that's going to help the yeast actually activate, along with a little bit of sugar. That's what the yeast eats, so a little bit of natural sugar, local raw is best, low carb, only six grams for a whole loaf. So let's start. What we're going to do first here is we're going to take our eggs, and like I mentioned, I'm shooting a video too, so I've got to kind of do a few things here. It might look a little different, but I'll keep talking. So here we go, getting our eggs going. We're going to get some egg whites into a bowl. And we're going to keep our yolks over there. It's always good to have an extra bowl on hand when you guys are cooking. I mean, you guys know that, but it's one of those things like whenever you need it, you're running for the sink to grab it or wherever it is. So the littlest tips make the biggest difference sometimes. Sometimes when you're cooking, it's just a matter of seconds before something goes to completely start over land. Which is always a bummer, but that's part of training as a cook, is getting better at those kind of things. And of course, like in everything in life, the more you practice, the better you get. Things become, you know, second nature, first nature, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do with these egg whites, and why we're separating them, is we're going to turn these egg whites into fluffy egg whites. So we're going to take them to like medium stiff peaks. And... What that's going to do is whip air into the whites, which is also going to act as a leavening agent. It's going to cause them to lift. It's the same process that you would do when you're making a souffle. That's what it does it, the egg whites, which is cool. So the one thing I'm kind of worried, I'm like worried, that's not the right word, but one of the things I'm not perfectly sure about is using five versus six eggs. I'll give you a tip quick. I'll use this actually for a second. I've mentioned this a time or two, but when you're whipping your egg whites, one of the things that's helpful is when you're whipping it, you let it fall back on itself versus doing this. This is going to take forever. If they're closer to room temperature, they whip a lot easier too. So by going like this, you're just using gravity, it's coming back down on itself and it forces it to incorporate air quicker, which and it's not hot anymore. That's another thing to think about. Because if we put really hot butter in here, what's going to happen? It's going to scramble and that's not going to be good. So that's important. See how much more velvety and smooth that became? Very cool. This is one tablespoon. One tablespoon of baking powder. Make sure it's baking powder, not baking soda. They're both leavening agents, but one of the things about baking soda is it's got five times the leavening power of baking powder. So it needs to be used in the right application or else no good. So here's our activated yeast. Here's our activated yeast. And one of the things I'm going to do, a little different here, is I'm just going to add the actual bloomed yeast instead of all the extra water at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape it off the top just like that and get it in there. That way I don't add all this extra moisture to the bread and I can hold this back now and adjust how wet the dough is going to be in a moment. And this is the good stuff so we're going to do the pork grinds. Crush them up in your hands. Good way to get it started. Take something like this. 
brush them up. So we're going to get that on the heel. I guess I'll measure this out too. Five. Five seems pretty good. So guys, this is how you create recipes. You, you try something and Sometimes it works the first time, sometimes it doesn't. You gotta sit on it, think about it, why did this not work? And then go to town. So, delicious cheese. Who doesn't want some cheese? Put that in there. So this is two cups. I'm gonna start adding it. And check how we're doing. I'm gonna add half of it first and incorporate it. together pretty nicely. Let's add some egg whites. I'm going with about, hmm, about a third, which is usually the way you go. And this first roundabout is going to be pretty much just liquid. It's not going to stay fluffy and all that kind of stuff, which is how it goes. So I've only got a cup of the almond meal here, and I'm pretty certain I need more than that for the loaf of bread to do its thing. And then the rest of the egg whites. Bringing this together. So the cheese has a bit of a saltiness to it, right? So I'm not inclined to add salt to this the first time because I don't want it to be too salty. But as the recipe comes out and we get to taste it, or I get to taste it and you can taste it with me, <laughs> um, that'll let me know how much salt it needs next time. All right. So that's where it would be eggy in the bottom. And I don't know, it seems like it came out clean. Hmm, feels like it's done too. All the information will be on the link. Please go ahead and subscribe. Come check us out on social media. I have all of our links below. You guys have the best.